Hello, I'm Annie Sloan. Welcome to my studio. So today I'm going to talk about metal leaf. This is how you'll buy it from my stockist shops. Uh, there's gold, and gold is actually brass, uh, but we always call it gold because real gold is actually quite small. But this is a brass leaf. They're two and a half inches by two and a half. These are five by five. Then there's copper, that's real copper. And then silver, it's not silver, it's actually aluminium. So that's how you'll buy them. And this is how it comes, that's what's inside. And this is a book of leaf. You'll try to pick it up. These are the, each leaf is in between two sheets of tissue paper. But sometimes it can be quite sticky and, and attach itself to your hands. So the best thing is to have a little bit of talcum powder on your hands, just a tiny bit, nothing too big. So that way, look at that, very, very light. Ooh, <laughs> that's five inches by five inches, and that's called loose leaf. And that is what we call gold or imitation gold or brass. And there's 20 sheets in there. So today I'm going to do this piece. It's, um, it's a French style stool. Um, it's got a, one of my fabrics on it. It's a linen uh, with French linen and old white. And I think it all works really well. I've painted this with um, uh, Primer Red, which is a traditional. So everything's very traditional that I'm doing today. And I'm going to use brass loose leaf on it. But before I do anything, I need to uh, apply the glue. So the glue that you use on here is actually called, this is it here, it's mine there, and it's called gold size. Size is just an old English word for glue, a bit confusing. The extraordinary stuff, because you, I'm going to dip it in, you only need a small amount. And what's so amazing is that it goes on, I'm just going to wipe it across. There are several ways you could do it, but this is one th way you could do it. I'm going to wipe it across, and you'll see it's white. And after a while, it will go completely clear. When it's completely clear is when it's ready. If it's still purpley, bluey colour or white, it's not ready to be used. So that way I've just gone brushed over the top, the highlights. Or you could be a little bit more careful and really go deep in. Um, and so you get into all the crevices. I'm doing it with my left hand there. Not very clear, not very good. So, um, so this bit will only go to the top and those bits will go right into all the bits. A big tip, once you've done that, don't leave your brush because that will kill your brush. So into the water it goes. So this is um, a little bit I did already. Um, I've just done the top bit and I'm going to take my leaf, I'm going to take, I shall take the little brush. I put a little bit of masking tape there so that it doesn't go onto the fabric or anywhere. And now I'm just going to, so it's quite robust. Although it's very fine, it's quite robust. Now it's sticking on one bit. And I'm just going to dab quite hard. Remember, I just brushed it over the top on here. So what it's going to do, it's going to leave some of the red showing. I say red, the primer red. This primer red would be the traditional color. Uh, it would be the color of the, um, the earth, the Italian earth. So dab, 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 dab. Now where I haven't got size, it won't stick. So, so I did that on purpose to show you that wherever you want the gold to be, you put the size. I know it seems obvious, but sometimes people don't quite get that. So if you don't paint it, you don't size it, you won't, it won't go gold. Now you can really brush quite hard. And then I can tear it off. And again, now just rubbing away until that's all the places where the gold size was. So that looks pretty good, I think. 
Um, mm. uh, it's actually a little bit too shiny. So real, uh, real gold doesn't have that shine because this is brass. So to get a real good looking gold, we're going to do something which will, um, not only will it uh, protect it, and remember that brass will tarnish, so it will stop it tarnishing. It will also protect it from getting scratched and what have you, um, but it will also look really real. So I'm just going to do that bit. Then I'm going to take a little bit of cloth. You could use a brush to apply it with. You could use a, a normal brush or one of those brushes or uh, a wax brush. But because it's quite delicate, I'm going to do it with a, just a cloth. So I'm using clear wax. Um, I'm gently going over it, a little bit less shiny than it was, but that is actually what real gold looks like. So, yeah. So I've done another bit already. I've done a whole lot. And also this is the front side, so there's the whole thing. Uh, it does look fantastic, doesn't it? So this bit here, I've done very solidly. There's really, uh, I've, I've not missed much of it. Whereas, because uh, I, I put the gold size everywhere, in all the grooves and all the bits of carving. Whereas this bit, I rubbed it and just rubbed the size over the top. If you wanted though, what you might want to use is a little bit of brown wax and so I'm going to put some brown wax on there. I've already put the, uh, the clear wax and now I'm just going to try a little bit of the brown wax. The clear wax underneath will help it smooth itself over so you can sort of age it um, without it getting too heavy. So I think that looks rather lovely. Um, and you can do as little or as much as you like. So perhaps down here, I could do a little bit more. And what that's done also is where all the grooves of the leaf shapes, it goes into those. And I think it looks really fabulous. So I've just concentrated here on the leaf, but of course I would be doing the whole thing. This is chalk paint at the moment, and at the moment it, it's got nothing on it, so the whole thing would be waxed. So there you have it. Uh, that's how you do a piece with my gold leaf, uh, something traditional and something really rather elegant.